So on this episode today, we're gonna learn how to clean window screens the right way. Or well, we got a new guy working for us today, and this guy claims he so he on the application he says I've been cleaning windows for years and I'm the best. And I'm like okay, well let's put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> and this so he's brand new today, just started, and he says he he's the best at cleaning screens and he's gonna teach us. And he's not even wearing a work shirt. Well, the work shirt, I think, is on order, back order. Maybe because I needed an extra large because I've eaten too much fast food. But No, I don't know if I'm the best at cleaning screens, but for years, the way that we did it, I don't get it overly soapy. These screens aren't bad to begin with, but I use a wet towel. Don't call them rags because that sounds so low level. You call it a towel. But anyway, uh, you do both sides wet. Wipe the frames. And you got your dry towel handy. Dry the frame back off. The frames are also oftentimes the grossest parts, right? And I give it a look at the angle, right? And kind of knock off any fuzzies real light. Right? What bug? But that's it. The oh. screen is money. Where's all this finesse coming from? So, lots of experience. for those of you that don't know him, this is Joshua Latimer, uh, the founder of AutomateGrowCell.com, and Birds be Beware Window Cleaning. He Started out flat broke, starving to feed his family. And what was it, a Chevy Cavalier? Yeah, 93. A 93 Chevy Cavalier, how long ago? How long ago? It was about about eight and a half, nine years ago. Eight yeah. and a half, nine years ago, strapped a big ladder to the front, uh, to the top of the roof of his Cavalier. Yep, true story. And went out scared. <laughs> And when, then, I, when I did estimates, I would park and like hide. I would, I would park like a quarter mile away. Because if people saw me roll up in that thing, there's no way they're going to hire me, right? Yep. But I did a really good job, and I took it really serious, but I would hide my car when I did bids, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he built his window cleaning business to between $100,000 and $150,000 a month. Uh, how many trucks were out running? Uh, right when we sold it, we did closer, we did almost 200,000 that month actually, but 200,000 that month. Yeah. And it went up and down, you know, being in Michigan. So it wasn't always that much, but we had eight full-time crews. We've touched 10, you know, temporarily, but consistently about eight crews. Yep. Eight crews. Don't despise small beginnings. Yeah. Don't despise small beginnings. Okay. So you got to check this guy out. I'll put the link in the description below of all his stuff. His podcast, the Quick Talk Podcast, is is powerful. I'm, I was actually listening to it right before he pulled up. Sold your, your business and moved with your family to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, yeah. We're back in Michigan visiting. I thought I'd stop and hang out with Keith because Keith's, Keith's my man. Love Keith Kalfas. Can't get enough. <laughs> and then he wrote me into cleaning screens, so now I'm cleaning them. <laughs> this is the last one, though. So, and then... um. What's going on in, in uh, about three weeks to a month here? What's going on? There's a huge convention. It's for window cleaning and pressure cleaning companies. And it's in Washington, D.C. There's going to be a thousand contractors there. There's going to be, I think, 15, 20 high-level speakers from all over the country presenting, teaching you not how to clean a screen because you can't build your business by perfectly cleaning a screen, right? That's the yeah. big mistake. Uh -huh. It's the technical perfection deception. The trick to building a business is by focusing on systems. Mm -hmm. systems in the back end and, the, and the, all the guts behind the scenes and how you acquire a customer how much did you spend to acquire how do you measure your key performance indicators how do you really build a real company rather than just be self-employed and be a slave to your own job which is you know what all of us start out as so how do you get out of that it's by focusing on the systems on the systems yeah and when and where is the huge convention Again, August 11th through the 13th in Washington D.C. at the National, some giant, amazing hotel, the National Harbor, I think it's called. Yep. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. I mean, these are all people who are focused on uh, building a real company that they could someday sell, that they could pass on to their family, so they can leave a legacy. Um, th there's almost no time spent on the technical how to clean the thing part because that's not the most important part. It's how do you grow a company. That's, that's what the convention's about. And he's actually the keynote speaker at the convention. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Man. It's super cool. It's super cool. Especially considering how I started out. Because I'm, I'm nobody. I'm, I, don't, I don't have all the answers or anything like that. But um, when I figured out the systems, the secret of this whole systems thing, and maybe you don't know what that means, but when I figured that out, that's when everything flipped for me. I mean, mm -hmm. in year two to three to my business, it tripled just because I, at a basic level, understood, oh my God. 
Like I need to work on my business rather than in my business all the time. Mm -hmm. And it changes everything. It changes everything. It's not easy. You know, there's still lots of pain. I always say I have a bachelor's degree in pain and a master's in suffering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's how you learn. You got to go through the fire, man. Go through the fire. You got to go through the fire. You don't try to avoid pain. Live in the pain. Work on the systems. And you'll come out the other side. Live in the pain. Lean into it. Lean into it. Don't try to avoid pain. Pain mm -hmm. is the best teacher in the world. Yep. Yes. It is. Okay, so what are we going to do next now? What's going on? I don't know. It's kind of hot. I got this black shirt on. Yeah, the black Hopefully shirt. We'll go eat some lunch. I'll buy you lunch. There you go. They don't have good food in Costa Rica, you know? It's scarce. There's no, like, that's why I get so fat every time I come here. I'm getting 15 pounds in three weeks. <laughs> uh -huh. But I don't care. It's, I'm just indulging. So mm -hmm. it's been good. Thanks, sir. Hey, thank you, Keith. All right, cool. Keep doing we're going to pop these screens in. We're going to go to lunch and talk some more business stuff. And I'm going to try to squeeze another video out. This is awesome, man. So awesome. I'm going to pick this dude's brain. Listen to his podcast, the Quick Talk Podcast. It's powerful stuff. Thank you. Peace.